Hey guys, so uh, Javier was asking about some Chion forms for defense, so I'm going to try to throw a couple up there that you can use uh, just to hit touch on some stuff. Chion strength is generally her rear attack, but it's also a big weakness for her um, stone golem is easy to kill generally. Um, goblin techs usually do really well with Chion. So this one here is specifically built to attack uh, Selene's. The Selene's that have a lot of um, orc hunters. So something like this, either with three stone golems up front or two or whatever with a bunch of, of orc hunters on there. I use this Chion to uh, take them out here. So you'll notice that the orc hunters all kind of pile up in the middle there and they're pretty much dispatched of pretty easily the uh it was really tough for me to figure out how to stop them at first because you're if you have goblin techs in there they don't really hurt them if they got selene but this one is very effective versus selene's with that so this chion can can handle it now, Javier, I thank you for the question. Um, it's really difficult to build a Chion that's going to stop everybody. So you just kind of want a mixture of range and rear attack and hope for the best, kind of. Uh, this one now, if I throw my Davison at it. Is probably going to get annihilated pretty, pretty easily. For some reason, versus Davison, I cannot stop his rear attack. He's got a very weak rear attack here on me. Only like, like six magic apprentices and just destroyed me. So Chion is really anyone versus Davison pretty tough right now. But Chion especially doesn't seem to do very well, guys. So there is that. And now this one versus an alley. I have a decent alley form here. And that's not it. Where's my good alley form? There we go. Okay, so this one might actually be decent versus alley. Um, if you have one thing good about Chion, if you have a, a strong rear attack. Oh man, so this one's decent against uh, Ali, I would say. If you, um, one thing that you can do if you have a lot of rear attackers, like uh, this one in particular, I have uh, one, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, 11, and then a couple of um, ghost assassins as well. So what Ali does is you can experiment if you do have an Ali to train against. Is like okay, is this is Ali going to hit nuke the back? So I don't have a lot of frost archers. I don't have a lot of front attackers either. So the majority of my guys are all piled on the back there. Uh, see, this time Ali chose to hit my rear attackers. So you could see bef my my rear defenders. You could see before um, that she nuked my rear attackers. That just that last one, and my cannons just absolutely destroyed her. So. We're going to lose this one. So what I can do is add a couple ghost assassins or whatever. And that would help to have make Ali nuke those guys in the back. And we should be able to win that one. So this one does okay. But still there's like Selene's and stuff. It's really hard to stop for Chion. Everyone's got a Selene. Everyone's got an Ali. Everyone's got a Davison. And those three are really tough to beat for Chion. So as well as Siondiak. I mean, I'm sorry, but... Chion only does well for me for a couple guys, so. But I'm trying to help out, so I'm gonna um, we're gonna throw in a different form here. So like I said, that one's specifically designed to beat uh, Davison. Now this one's pretty much designed to beat Ali, and I tried to put some uh, different troops up there to make it a little tougher. Um, pull that out, put that in there. 
Okay, and we are going to input that as our defense input and confirm and training here we go so this one here is a little bit different and we're gonna go with it our alley against this one so um, this one has the four ghost assassins in there so watch how this one goes so not as many cannons though I should say so alley does opt to hit my rear attackers and uh, we do have quite a few guys left. 25 on 14 still. Allie should die here if anyone wants to take her out. So this one can be used to defeat Allie. Um, if you want to even put in a few more cannons, you can see how devastating it is if Allie misses your front attackers and your rear uh, defenders. So if you have a ton of cannons in there, this one can just destroy her. So this one, but all, just you, if you build one and it's strong versus one and not the other, like if I throw in a Davison now, like this monster, um, it's going to be tough to stop this. Because Davison is an absolute beast. Um, but... Yeah, it's just too much, just too much power there. I mean, I thought maybe a freeze coming in there would help out a little bit, but uh, once again, uh, Chion loses. And it's pretty much the same versus a uh, Siondiak as well. You can throw in some extra stunners up front and try that, but it's difficult, guys. Okay, well... Here is another Chion, and we're going to give this one a shot. And train with this one. So, um, let's see if I can take Davison with this. I don't know. Probably, I'm probably not. It's Davison is really difficult, guys. And I'm trying. So this one looked kind of good defensively. I think it'll beat. Uh, I think this will beat the Celine. Yeah, he's not going to beat that Davis and the guys. I think it'll beat my uh, Celine here. Just because the Voodoo Dolls there are meant to kind of stop that on rush, and they didn't. This is a really a tough Celine form, though, guys. Man, so this one didn't do as good as I thought it was going to do. But there's some ideas there. Uh, Javier, I wish I could be more helpful with this. But right now, guys, Chion is just... Defensively, you want to try to get something in there that's going to be able to, to be competitive and right now I just don't think that uh, from at my level that I'm at there's not a really a lot of Chions that are high level um, I tell you what let me let me look back through my archives see if I can find somebody that's kind of a high level that's still running Chion all right I looked back pretty far and this was uh, Wallace was the pretty much the only Chion I could find. And I'm not even sure how solid this one is. It looks like decent, you know, a good amount of rear attack, good amount of stunners, good amount of crowd control, good, you know, so overall, just kind of a, a nice um, comp, nice assortment of troops in there. Um, decent rear attack with uh, 11 guys. So not bad. Um, not sure how well that one would perform, but I, uh, I mean, I'm sorry to say that Chion is just, she doesn't really, she takes out Arthur pretty good, but against, uh, Celine, against, uh, Davison, against Siondiak, against, um, uh, 
Allie, she's just really got a disadvantage unless you can uh, do what I do and like get Allie to nuke your the rear of your um, formation or your rear attackers. That is, so um, sorry to be kind of a downer, but I mean, at the high at the high level uh, I'm playing, that that Shion is just not very uh, useful that I know of. I could be wrong. Um, that being said. Down at the lower levels, you might have some more luck with uh, Chion, because she is a, a decent hero. Um, just right now, it seems like the other ones are a lot better than she is. So um, I hope this was helpful. I hope you, it was a kind of a little bit of information there, uh, possibly to work with. So um, I'll still be working on a form. If I can find one that is just rocking it, I will uh, throw that out there for you guys. So thanks for watching. Thanks for the question, Javier. You guys have a good day, and I'll catch you next time.